Hi, I'm Kristen St. Clair with Martha Stewart Crafts. I'm going to show you how to use liquid fill transparent paint to transform plain glassware into unique creations, like these adorable vases, or this decorative pitcher, or even these cute little canisters. One of my favorite uses for this liquid fill is with paintable clings. I love the bird designs. You can put a bird on anything. Let me show you how these work. They are repositionable adhesive clings. They have a raised outline so that the liquid fill paint will not spill over. It's basically like a coloring book with paint. So let me show you how it's done. Here I have a English tea brown paint. My paint bottle has a very fine tip and this is very great for doing your detailed work. All I'm gonna do is start off by squeezing a little bit and you barely even have to squeeze the bottle and you're just filling in those lines. It's so easy. Because the liquid fill is so thin, it levels out and you'll get a very even coat. So I'm gonna use a second color here to fill in. And also what's great about this paint is that it blends very nicely together. So wherever my white meets up with my brown, I'm gonna have a nice blend. If you get a bubble with the paint, you can just break it with the tip of the bottle and continue to work. So I'm gonna fill in the detailed areas of the cling. And what I'm gonna do for that is use a brush. And these brushes are really great because they have an angled tip and they're great for filling in small areas. So take a little bit of paint on the tip of my brush and lightly dab the cling in those small areas. And what's great is I'm able to rest my hand on my work surface so that I have more control of the brush. So I'm on my last leaf now. And once you're done with all your colors, you wanna make sure it's on a flat surface until it completely dries. And then when it's dry, you can apply it to anything. Like I'm gonna do the back side of this face. So my design is completely dry. So I'm gonna peel it off this backing sheet and apply it to my vase. And to do so, you just stick it down, tack it in one spot, smooth it out, making sure not to stretch the design. Isn't that sweet? And remember, when you want something new, you can always replace it with another cling.